Well, looky here, man. Look what this is. A little intro for, um... For Fear Ascended going into my world, huh? Yeah, th that's just, just the game now after installing and activating the mod. Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back to ARK. Um, this was, um... This is, uh... This is, as you can see, is not aberration here. Um... It's actually, um... I'm here to test... I'm here to try out the, um... Uh, the, the new Halloween stuff, specifically the new Halloween creature. Ignore my base from the Center War series. Uh, it's just I, I can only try it on single player, so. I'm here to try to look for the new creature that caught everyone by storm. Let's see, it should be down here in the gene scanner, which is a, a much faster way of finding it if this thing is spawned in yet. Nope, no, alpha, no applicable creature found. So I guess we just keep looking around, right, until it spawns in. Okay, here I am. It's nighttime. I forced it to be nighttime because this thing only appears wild in the nighttime. It is creative only because um, I mean I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to see what it, how what it is. I'm not gonna tame it like like legit legit. I'll do that some other time. Maybe, maybe after um, I'm done with aberration. I don't know. I'm not sure to be honest. I don't know if I will even do that or if I'll just kind of just. This will be my only experience with it for now. It does spawn on the center and uh, scorched, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it spawns on aberration or the island. It might spawn on the island as well. Like, uh, I, I, cause I only I read through the community crunch that it or the announcement that it came in through once, and um, yeah, the taming process of this thing is quite extensive, and it, it is very unique. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be another one like this. Man, if one of these things does not spawn, I'm just gonna spawn in one myself. Cause I can't wait. I don't wanna just spend here all day looking through one of these things. Okay, everyone. So I have a dread mare here. Or at least one of them. Alright, the command. Cause I couldn't find one. So I just gave up and spawned one in. Really? There's no applicable creature right now? I just spawned one. But it is like right here, around here, and they only spawn in the nighttime. It is daytime, so if I just change it to nighttime real quick. Boom! It spawns in, and there it is, in all of its glory. Does it spawn in now? Does it? Does it? No. Well, then this fucking thing is useless. Alright, what level are you, by the way? Uh, oh no, I shouldn't ask. You're 150. I spawned you in at 150, okay. It is a Dreadmare. Uh, even the creature is called Dreadmare, but the male version is called Dread Stallion. And the command for it is Dark Pegasus, but what you pretty much want to do is just get this ammo thing for this filled up. You pretty much want to kill it. That's what you have to do. You have to kill this thing. Um, a shotgun probably won't be the won't be probably the best idea for this, but I mean it gets the job done. But you pretty much have to keep going killing it. And oh god, I can't see. Now I am missing. Hold on, hold on. I missed again. Come on here, fight me like a man. Or like a beast. I am missing a lot. Come on! I'm missing a lot, man. I'm like... I probably should have brought a creature or something for this. Like, this shotgun is not very good. You know what? Re in creative mode. Is this red? Okay, it is in red. Okay, yeah, we killed it. We, you pretty much have to kill it, shoot it, whatever. And then, it drops this, an altar. Now, with this altar, look, it's even a freaking stormy night and everything. Perfect for Halloween. But by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be the day after Halloween. But there's the altar, looks very demonic, and it's pretty much going to... Okay, where did it... Okay. 
Uh, I think it messed up. What the f- Okay, so here we go. We have the, um, this is the altar and look, it wants specific, um, like tribute items for a creature in order to like tame, start the taming process. Cause this is actually the proper taming process. This is just to start it off, you killing it. So as you can see, it wants, uh, there are Xeno claws. So I would suggest maybe, um, getting a chest full of tribute items or maybe doing this by your base, so you, uh, whatever you prefer. And then starting this off so i'm just gonna spawn this quickly in so boom you offer therizino claws and then you have to you have to pretty much kill it again now of course i'm in creative so i'm just gonna do this okay there we go so you kill it and then it pretty much, let's see, what is the bar looking like now? It's at a, okay, so it almost filled up and it wants uh, Rex arms now. Now, a side note, I just tried to use the creative uh, gun and it actually didn't work, so. Yeah, you might have to, you can't cheat this. Now, I don't know if you can force tame this thing. You probably could, right? But if you don't want to pay for it, I guess just do that instead. Okay, now we offer the Rex arms. He's going to summon another one. And then we just have to kill it again. I guess we pretty much have to control the demon <laughs> to where we were able to uh, rule over it and, like, I guess command it. That's pretty much what we're doing, I guess. I mean, that's how I see us. I mean, this is a creature of, of hell, is it not? Dreadmare. Okay, it currently has this bubble on. We can't really hit it. I would be dead by now if I wasn't in creative mode. So, maybe bring like a good creature with you or something. But then again, what siphon it out? Like, cause it is that's one of its abilities. And I ain't, I ain't no expert, right? I'm not really one of, of arc tutorials, cause I mean I really I rely on them more than. <laughs> Probably maybe more than the average player does. Okay, there it's gone. It's dead. And we should have a 150. Where is the altar thingy? Alright, let me just... Uh, there we go. Got rid of that. And boom. After you do that, go back to the altar. And you now have a 150 uh, Dreadmare. Look at that. I gotta say, this thing is cool looking. Th I mean, this thing is uh, better than the Pyramid by a lot. Because this ain't no reskin, folks. It is 224. So, I'm surprised it wasn't um, a fully max tame. But, uh, what, what's... Is there a... Uh See, it has carcass carrier. That's the that's the trait it has. What does that do? And it reduces the weight of carcasses in its inventory. So meat. I'm not really sure what that means. Okay, so they they give pelt and raw meat. They don't give primary or anything special. Besides the altar thing, if you kill one. Okay, here is see the stats. It has 41 into health, 38 into oxygen. And 39 to health, so it's actually not bad at all. Um, I'll just quickly throw this thing out. All right, let's see the attack. So, it may, how much damage does it do? 82. So it's not. I think that was a headshot. So it's not really a big powerhouse. Um, hold L2 and R2. Ooh, that looks dope. Honestly, this doesn't even look like a like a creature walkover made. This honestly looks. Can I not do it in the air? Oh, I have to. I have to wait. Uh, let's see. Terror shield is. Our, oh, oh no, nope, it's the wrong button. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. R1 plus square. It's a press. It's a whole R1 before you press square. So you're just going the inventory. That doesn't last very long. Aura of hate. Okay, it does 19 damage to this thing. I'm assuming it siphons. Yep, it does hyphen siphon health for me. Whoa, this thing is doing 102 damage to me. I'm assuming this thing doesn't have armor. It does not. So. This tear shield is probably very good. Probably you should have. Alright, there we go. And that makes it better. Now we can... It's, it's daytime. So that makes it a lot better. So let's see. Can let me go into orbit camera. Can I go into orbit camera, please? Thank you, game. So that's how it looks. So it has multiple color regions. So you can expect to find some that might be brighter than others. Some are darker. It's got like kind of greenish olive, I guess, was that a mane fur, whatever. Kind of a bluish gray body and kind of purpley wings. Now the fire, I'm not sure if that's a color region or if it's just the same orange. Um, it can like, it does. It can do the same thing like a griffin does where it can glide, which might make it a bit of, a, of an OP creature. I don't know if it will be OP. Let me see. Can it? I don't think it can dive bomb. Pretty sure it will kick me off if I go into the water. Can you do anything up here? Okay, there's the wing thing. So it just pretty much launch a projectile, pretty much. It's called the wing blade in there, but it's called the dark wind right there in the bottom above the hot bar. Now the black hole. Oh, now that's <laughs> that's something that could probably be very overpowered. I have to let me let's see can I dive bomb I'm gonna check I'm just gonna go up and then just see I don't think you can yeah no you just kind of just I guess kind of just sit there you just kind of touch the ground all right so let's test out this black hole thing so this is 270 right there right so I'm pretty sure that 270 is deals with the weight so let's see, can't prevent it, drag weight above 270. Okay, can I, uh, I think it, I don't know if it's talking about the Giga or the tri or the Trike. All right, let's see, just test it on the, there we go, black hole. It's just pretty much a portable cryo. So let's see, if I spawn over here, can I, can I literally just spawn this dude right all the way up here? Is it possible? It probably is. So you could probably just spawn this thing wherever you want it yep just summon the black hole and boom all right let me just spawn let me just suck this guy back up again i gotta say it is cool looking the, the what it does i'm not sure if it has a roar or anything now in the trailer it looks like it's doing some crazy stuff if you guys haven't seen i would say i would go to check that out by the way the dodo rex is like and the dodo i render back now it does have a cryo sickness um so it probably just is pretty much in the game code in the game actually it's just probably just a cryopod a mobile one i upgraded the weight can i cryo the trike now yes i can drag weight of 528 is is where where i 1231 equated to and then pretty much boom now that thing is knocked out now i'm pretty sure i don't think i can can i uh nope this thing is above five. I'm pretty sure Giga is probably like a thousand. Is it not? I'd have to upgrade this thing by a lot for a thousand. Our thing is now at a thousand. Can I cryo this dude up now? Yes, I can. So, yeah, this thing could theoretically just be a mobile. Um, now, I'm pretty sure it can only cryo one thing at a time. Let me just kind of stick out. Let me just throw him back out there. Yep, and he is knocked out. So yeah, that is the cryo sickness. So I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if you can disable that. Uh, I don't even use cryopods, so I don't have to deal with this anymore. So hmm. Uh, so I would say uh, it's not that useful. I feel like the mods, especially the cryo mods, are still better because there's no cryo sickness on any of them. 
But I guess for for extra, you guess you can just carry this. And I guess without having to go into your hot bar, if you're too slow for that, you can just press the button and then you can just cry out them with a the black hole. But anyways, uh, guys, that's the this is the Dreadmare. Honestly, I really like this creature. I really like it. I honestly, I, w I want one now for myself in survival. I will tame one at one point in survival. Um, I so can I, I'm wondering, can I find the Dodo Rex anywhere? Oh, I'm okay with losing this thing to it. Okay, the Dodo Rex is here, but the problem is I don't know where to look for one. Like, where would I find it? I don't think it's gonna appear here. No, it would be right next to Dodo. Hmm. There's no moon in the sky, that's the problem. And like, uh, how do I find this thing? There is, by the way, the Dodo uh, Wyvern on Scorched as well. I think this thing, uh, for, uh, for a second I thought this was going to be the Scorched, like, Fantastic Days. But it spawns on the center as well. I don't know if it spawns on the island. I'm not sure. It might. Uh, you guys can double check me. Uh, you guys can actually double check on a lot of information I've said because I'm I just kind of glanced and read over the arc uh, announcement page for this thing. So yeah, you guys maybe there's a because uh, I guess you guys can think of better ways than taming than I did because you could trap it if you want because it's like a phoenix where it doesn't pop up until a certain time. It'll just sit there though. Yeah, I don't know where the Dodo Rex is. And I, I was originally going to tame this thing as survival, but I was like, no, because I don't know nothing about this. I would have to move my guy from Aberration to over here. I don't want to do that. I got to say, they're pretty fast. Even without gliding, this dude is pretty fast still. Can I upgrade? Nope. But let me just get him to 700. Stamina, weight. So pretty much a thousand. Once you're at a thousand plus, you can probably cryo anything you want. But you do have to keep upgrading the weight if you want to increase the what you can cryo pod. Oh, keep saying cryo pod because that's what it is pretty much. But whatever you can like, just suck into the black hole. Two thousand years later. Zom dodos. <laughs> But no sign of the Dodo Rex. I'm gonna do a lot of how much does Ooh look at that. Come back here you bitches. Can I do it? Yeah, aura of hate. Get it hated on. I'm being a hater to you all. How's that for sure? Look at my bubble. You can't hurt me. Even if you're inside it. Oh no, you're gonna make. <laughs> I don't know how the. I don't know how the shield go make you go higher and last longer. Damn, these guys have a lot of health. Alright, but that ain't a, that ain't a Dodo Rex. I'm still looking. I've been looking pretty far and nothing. Okay, there it is. There is the mighty dodo. Okay, I actually you can't shoot off the back of the dreadmare. So it is not totally overpowered. But I mean, I feel like everything else has mixed up for that. Hey. Hello there, big birdie dude. Come on. Want me to drown you? Is that the strat? Playing the music. Here, take this. Ah. Come on, let's go. Oh god, that was a lot of damage. This dude does not take reduced damage in the slightest. Are those your minions? This must be your minions. There's so many of them. Okay, I'm just gonna activate the aura of hate. Give me a bubble. Holy crap. I'm gonna die to this dude. I can already tell, but hey. It'll be a, a fight worth living. Look at this. Come on. Come on. We got this. Maybe I could have fucking thrown up the gig out here, but I forgot to put it in the black hole. 
Uh, yeah, that fire's gonna cook us alive, man. These zombies aren't gonna make it any better. Activate the shield one more time. No! No! My Dreadmare! Hello, big birdie Rex thingy! Hello there, you never look better, man. Look at you. This is actually the first time I've seen you in Survival Ascended. Uh, I'm gonna die to these dudes or you. You know, your, your attack rate, your attack range is not very big. Like, you're, I'm right there, you go. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna... I guess we'll leave it there, guys. Look at that little Fear Ascended logo at the top. You know, it's good to have, like, a big event like this. Because I feel like this, Winter Wonderland, and, um... Uh, can't think of any other big, like, events of ARC that, uh, like, bring, like, um... Pretty much a boss, a new creature like this. Pretty sure it's just those two. And Turkey Trials, I guess. Um, but yeah... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me just messing around with the Dreadmare. Now with Dodo Rex here in Fear Ascended. Um, I will check out more Fear Ascended stuff on Aberration. Because I'm pretty sure the Ghost Skins versions come out there. Um, but catch you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good one. Peace.